But if we join forces, that'll mean that you'll be committed to joining my battle against that half-brother of mine, Gadib. <laughs> and his forces are very powerful. Prince Arislan, you're a man after my own heart. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed, I like you a lot already. <laughs> There's a cheerful man. He doesn't take things too seriously. I wouldn't be surprised if you two were related. <laughs> And, of course, I accept the peace treaty. I'll sign it as soon as you can get it ready. You have my admiration, and I'm proud to be your ally. Come to me, hungry. I hunger. Time to kill. Must feed. So hungry. Must kill. Must kill. Shortly after I killed Pollux, yes. But I am, shall we say, more resourceful than he was. Did you really think I'd let death stop me? The underworld was more accommodating for me. Now, Spartan, face me for the last time. I was a young lieutenant serving under General Shu in the Earth Kingdom. I discovered a hidden library, underground, in fact. I tore through scroll after scroll. One of them contained a detailed illustration and the words moon and ocean. I knew then that these spirits could be found and killed, and that it was my destiny to do so. Yes, yes, I know you fear the spirits, Iroh. I have heard rumors about your journey into the spirit world. But the ocean and moon gave up their immortality to become a part of our world. And now they will face the consequences. I am Zhao the Conqueror. I am the Moon Slayer. I will capture the Avatar. I am Zhao the Conqueror. I am the Moon Slayer. I will capture the Avatar. You. You're him. The last airbender. You've grown. But I will still defeat you! Come back, Avatar! Face me! I am Zhao the Conqueror! I will capture you! Victory will be mine! Nice to finally meet you face to face. I'm Captain Gabriel Lorca. Welcome to the Baran. This is my first officer, Commander Ellen Landry. Agreed. A damn fine captain. Though, from what we've heard about what happened to Corvan, his ship's in good hands. Ah, and my somewhat tardy Chief of Security, Omni Patel. Uh, apologies, Captain. Engineering's this way, if you'll follow me. You remember when we last became embattled? Accurate, if inelegant. I was in the midst of toppling the economy of Europe. But you were on to me. I sought a distraction, so I hired the Joker. When your paths crossed in Bosnia, it was to appear that you had stumbled upon him. He was paid extremely well for what was intended to be a wild goose chase. Then, he murdered the boy. That was not by design. I'm afraid I overestimated my ability to control the Joker, just as I underestimated his madness. It grieved me, sir, to be a party to something so brutal. I despise incompetence. I must congratulate you. I confess. I had not expected to see you here. We could share this world. You and I. <laughs> But you desire to destroy me. I see that now. I'm very well aware of your power, Gabriel. However, I desire to destroy this world. If I cannot rule the world of men, then no one will! 
My old friend Abin Sur would surely be quoting scripture if he were here. And so it is written, The enemy long buried will return from a fire, and Oa shall be consumed in its flames. Almost makes you want to hide under the nearest rock. Do you think that somehow this is preordained? No, my dear. Destiny is a tricky item. Even Abin Sur found that out. Fear it's it. I'm on approach. Thanks, old boy. You got it, mate. Come on, Finn! It's now or never! Whoa. Hold on! Sidley? Yes, Finn? Paris, too sweet. Yeah, two of them sweets for me too, Sid. You know, I always wanted to be a spy. Really? Me too. Afterburners, sir? Is there any other way? This is Agent Leland Turbo. I have a flash transmission for Agent Finn McMissile. Finn. My cover's been compromised. Everything's gone pear-shaped. You won't believe what I've found out here. This is bigger than anything we've ever seen. And no one even knows it exists. Finn, I need backup. But don't call the cavalry. It could blow the operation. And be careful. It's not safe out here. Let's go. Transmitting my grids now. Good luck. You found it at last, Enoch. It only took you 300 years. A lot faster than I thought. The Watchers are in that tower. You had trouble finding it because it's wrapped in a veil of distorted space. Enoch, the Watchers await you within. Seek them out and bind them. His efforts had been hindered by a shroud of distorted space that hid its location. On the other side of this dimensional rift lies the giant tower the fallen angels erected, surrounded by a sprawling city. And does your loyal and precious crew know you ran as your master fell, abandoned her and the Jedi Order when they needed you most? What do you think your rebels would do if they knew their leader was a coward? You're even afraid of your own power. You don't have the courage to wear your full saber out in the open. Let me tell you something, Jedi. You're right to be afraid. You couldn't save your master then, and you can't save your followers now. Try to fight, and you will fail. The rebellion will be destroyed. You will die, and your apprentice will become a servant of evil. What are you talking about? The dark side. It pulls at him. It calls to him. Eventually, he will be consumed by it. Stand aside. The boy must be eliminated before he embraces the darkness. It means you are what I once was. A Knight of the Jedi Order. The temple is falling. Go! I will delay the enemy. Project Fair Play. I began it years ago in case the human race needed to neutralize the Justice League. In other words, Superman, in case we had to kill you. Let's face it, the Justice League may be a three-headed Hydra, but there's only one head that truly counts. I hated what you embody. Unassailable power is never to be trusted. Look at the way the government uses you, and you them, while the world walks on eggshells. Eventually, you would have had to come to blows with Washington. The wonder is that it took this long. I never really cared for power. I walked away from it. What I coveted was knowledge. I'm mapping the universe, revealing all its glorious mysteries. And in a way, I have you to thank for it. Lieutenant, status report. Sir, the troops are all in place. Ready, willing, and able. Very well. We wait until the looting starts, then we roll out the tanks. Nah. The crowd storms the consulate, and Crystal Dawn takes the blame. After which, we trigger similar cells in Rabat and Casablanca to create a domino effect. By tomorrow, it should be painfully clear that the government has lost control of the riots. And, as highest-ranking general, I will, with a heavy heart, of course, do the only responsible thing, and impose martial law. I should be president by Friday. So, I trust your wife's operation was without complication? Yes, sir. And thank you, sir. We take care of our own, Lieutenant. As you were. Ah, uh, hello? Excuse me. 
I can assure you, madam, I may be getting on in years, but my teeth are very much my own. This is Dracula. <laughs> Who? Dracula, the Prince of Darkness. No. Mm. The Bat out of Hell. The Scourge of Transylvania. Mm. Bats. Okay, Dracula, I'm hanging up now. Stop, no, please don't hang up. Please. Uh, why not? It's, it's just so nice to finally have someone to talk to. Uh, are you lonely? Oh. So... So very lonely. Huh? How do you like it? <laughs> Terrifying. I may be nauseous. Don't you love being thrown down the stairs? Oh, look. You didn't make it all the way down. I'll tell you what. We'll try again. Slinky. Why? For my people. For my people! For the watch. What the hell was that? Oh, I was just mixing it up. No. We're all supposed to say, for the watch. That's the point. For the watch. Everyone. But no. Okay. It's... For the f***ing watch! Now say it! Stop it! Angela... Slenderman! You know that little bitch in your math class? Nicole! Invite her to your birthday party. It's time you two settled your differences. Be the bigger person. But I hate her! Don't f*** are you and me, Angela! I'm f***ing Slenderman! I need you to do something else. Anything! Try to study an extra 30 minutes a day. I think you'll see a marked improvement in your grades. Uh... You said you'd do anything for Slender Man! It's 30 minutes a day! Too f much to ask! Or should I go and ask that bitch Nicole? Now, I must go. Shwa! Oh, I can't believe a fancy show horse like you would ever fall for a stowaway donkey like me! Focus, Rose! We need to stay alive until the rescue acts arrive! And, <laughs> and I, you, Rose! I want to start a family with you! A beautiful family of hybrid donkey horses! Rose! <laughs> Oh, oh. oh no, Jack, you're Do you sleep? Of course I am. Do you dream? Dream? Yes. No, Emperor. Neither did I until I began my experiments upon the darkening. Now my slumber is riddled with nightmares. Do you remember what it was like before we were rent asunder? I don't think of such things. And yet, the thoughts come. Mm. I remember suffering. Yes. Guilt. Yes. And sorrow. But it's hard to recall. Like a dream. A nightmare. Yes. We know the torment that lies behind us. But what torment waits beyond this existence? All the more reason to hold on to life with all claws. No matter the cost. I don't blame those among you that fear me. For you've been taught to fear all your lives. But if you learn nothing else today, learn this. We in the Soviet Union do not oppose the citizens of the United States. We only oppose the government that oppresses you. Our sole desire is for peace and equality among all men. Until I was 12 years old, Mrs. Luthor. Lane, I'm not an appendage. Until I was 12 years old, Miss Lane, I was as human as you are. This planet is the only home I've ever known, and I would sacrifice anything to protect her. You served a terrorist bastard. Point his bombs. Take lives in the Batman's name. You don't deserve to live. But it's not your fault, is it? He's fed you lies, brainwashed you. You're broken. I can fix you. No running! I've told you a thousand times I won't have children running like wild dogs through my town. And I've told you, in particular, more than 20 times, haven't I? Haven't I, boy? And you're here first thing in the morning because you like the freshest apples, aren't you? Hmm, yeah, I thought so. Would you like to know a secret? If you go into the woods through the back field and follow the path into the fork, you go down the way with a big tree that you all say looks like an angry face, and you go over the creek, past the point the way your parents say you shouldn't go, right? 
I happen to know there's an apple tree in the clearing after that. It's my apple tree, and nobody's allowed to go there. So, if you promise not to tell a soul where you're going, go and get yourself three apples. And no more running. Scooby Dooby Doo! Where are you? <laughs> Come on now, don't be scared. <laughs> I love dogs. I had a dog myself once. It was an ill tempered brute with a ghastly underbite and stunk and caused me endless headaches. He's lost now. Is he chipped? Forget about him. It's all about you. You, you my friend. Special. You see, within you lies a key. But well, I don't have your key. No pockets. No, you are the key. <laughs> Join me, Scooby-Doo, and I will show you how to harness your destiny and become the most important dog in the world. No thanks, Dastardly. Oh, please. My friends call me Dick. Sorry. Sorry. New cape. Haven't broken it in yet. Unwashed common people. I, your king, and my brave knights of the round table have, with great effort and sacrifice, finally defeated the villainous Saxons and brought peace to the Isles. I love your hair! So, I'm throwing a party! <laughs> it's not a party for you lot, it's for me! the rightful king of the Britons, who made you the proud people you are today. Back straight, chin up, mind the gap. Now I'm going to have my knights of the round table come around and collect some taxes. Demon Dots, he's taken a piece of Ookla's mane and used it to cover his bald spot. Why can't cat people just grow old gracefully? Rawr!